So the game I'm playing today is called Yinlet. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Please, uh, correct me if I am. Because it doesn't appear to be an English word, and I'm not sure if it even is a real word at all. But whatever, not important. So, this is a game that only came out last week, actually. This is a 2D platformer that doesn't actually involve platforming, surprisingly. Yinlet is kind of a difficult game to describe. I know we've been through this whole song and dance before, but really it is because I really don't know what exactly this game is or how to describe how it plays. But basically, this is a game where you play as this jellyfish-like creature, and there's all these bubbles that are floating in the air and you have to jump in between them. I'm not sure what exactly the plot here is, or if there even is a plot. I don't think the game's Steam description really dives too deep into the game's plot, if there even is any. I do know that the game relies heavily on dynamic music. I do believe this game has its own custom-made dynamic soundtrack system. I do believe bouncing through all the bubbles in this game, the quote-unquote bubbles, create different tones that basically generate music. And that's all I really know about it. I have not actually played this game at all off-screen. I am going into this completely blind. But this is a game that I had been looking at for a little while. I was technically able to play this for quite some time because Yinlet originally began its life as a Game Jam game, and the Game Jam edition of Yinlet was originally created all the way back in 2013, so this game has been in development for a pretty long time, and there was a playable version of this game that's been available for that length of time as well. Interestingly, the full version of Yinlet actually comes with the 2013 Game Jam prototype, and I may actually try to play the 2013 Game Jam edition of this game when I'm finally through with it in this video, like when I finally decide to stop playing it. But for now, we are gonna try to play the full game here for a little while. Now, I do need to warn you that this game does apparently contain some flashing images, so if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff, or if you have a history of epilepsy, then you may not want to watch this video. And before I truly get started here, I want to replay the intro because there is an intro cutscene that plays as soon as you start up the game. And I would like to replay that just to show you what exactly it entails. So you got this, uh, I, I don't know, it, this almost looks like the inside of a cell in some way, but you have this little, like, weird jellyfish creature with all these other bizarre creatures as well. That one, that one in the top kind of looks like Magnemite. I don't know, am I the only one who sees that? He kind of kind of looks like a Pokemon. So, they're, they're looking at the TV, there's apparently an imminent meteor strike, and there's actually the meteor right there. And then, yeah, the meteor hits, and there's an explosion of colors, and then some weird thing happens right here. This, this almost kind of looks like the layout of a city in some way. So, yeah, their world's kind of being torn apart, and I don't really have a damn clue what's happening. I love the art style in this game, though. It looks like everything was, uh, was hand-painted, almost. It's really lovely looking. It's gorgeous, man. Yeah, this just looks like a giant metropolis, so... A meteor crashed into this poor dude's home, and it created a city? I... I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it at all. Yeah, there's Yinlet, there's the, uh, the logo for the game, and there's the, uh, people who developed the game, Niflis Games. Uh, it should also display, yes, the logo for the, the indie publisher that published this game, Triple Topping, with artwork by Sarah Sandberg. And I do believe that's the entire intro, or no it's not, I, I do believe it's showing some other, like, uh, some other companies that were responsible for funding the game, including Indie Fund. That's a, a, a funder that I've talked about previously. Yeah, and then it just goes back to the title screen here. Yeah, so other than that, I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. Let's go to file one here. Difficulty, challenging, chill, tricky. Oh, so it just it just goes to the, to the highest setting automatically? Okay, well, there's a lot of assist options here. I guess I'll just go to tricky for now, because I have no idea how challenging challenging actually is. What are these assist options? Game speed 100%. Movement assist, modest, gravity normal, air control low. Oh, okay, so this kind of like... This almost looks like uh, the same sort of assist options that you would normally find in Celeste. Including game speed, apparently. 40%, 100. Movement assist, none. Modest, helpful. Gravity normal, low. Minimal. 
Air control, low, medium, and high. Okay, well, I'm not gonna mess around with these settings for now, then. I think I'll just go to tricky for now, because I'm not- I'm not trying to be, uh, a tryhard here, so frick it. Let's just- let's just get started here, then, in that case. Uh, oh, I have to click on begin. Here we go. Alright, let's get into it, then. Let's get into it and see what exactly is happening. So yeah, I have been interested in this game for a little while, but I kind of wanted to wait for the full version of the game to finally come out, and I had no clue when exactly it would be coming out. But it is finally out now, and it's a pretty cheap game as well. It only sent me back like eight dollars. So uh, what what what's happening right here? Do I do I need to swim over this way for something? Because this is this is highlighted. Yeah, Botanisk have. Okay. Oh, so there, there are individual levels in this game, it seems. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go to the first level here, then. And see what see what we got going on. Alright, so you can left-click to move. Yeah, I did I did already kind of kind of figure that out. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so why did why did that light up all of a sudden? Hang on a second. Let me let me try and move through all of these, uh. Yeah, moving through all these bubbles, they're like. Yeah, why exactly- why exactly are they lighting up, though? I don't really understand what that means. Oh, rest anywhere for checkpoint. Oh, interesting. Oh, so if I just rest in the- in the bubbles for, like, a, a few seconds, then it automatically creates a checkpoint at that bubble. Okay, that's kinda neat, I guess. So, yeah, you can basically create checkpoints, like, anywhere you want. Oh, this is really nice. I really like the way that this looks. Oh, god. I'm gonna assume that I probably have infinite lives, because I don't see a lives counter anywhere. Alright, well, I'm not gonna, like, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and, and get a bit of a move on here. I'm not gonna, like, waste time trying to, trying to create checkpoints here or anything. Here we go. This seems simple enough to me. So, what exactly is, is this thing right here? Let me get it. Okay, well, I grabbed it. I don't exactly know what that means, but... Um... What if I go up here? Hello? Why does this thing have, like, a little handle on it? Oh, Jesus. Okay, hello. Oh, God. Okay, well, I just completely fell out. Oh, I just- I just go back to the checkpoint. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna assume that I probably have infinite lives here, so I have to just fall down. Yeah, they're just, like, little bubbles. It's like you're just kind of- kind of swimming through the air. It's like, uh, it's like water, almost, I guess. Okay, this is kind of interesting right now. Maybe I'm just gonna stop here, because there's a little bit of a- a, a, a weird-looking jump right here. Okay. Yeah, this seems simple enough, because I can just use my cursor to make this little guy, uh, you know, navigate all of these- all these little bubbles right here. And I could just hold down left-click in order to make him swim around. Oh god, what is this? Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of asteroids here. Okay. Oh, they're all rotating as well. Okay, well, this seems simple enough. Hang on a second. I'm gonna try and get through here, if I possibly can, without dying. Without dying, I do see all sorts of other, like, weird critters swimming around as well. I don't know if there's any enemies in this game. Like, if- if these little guys are harmless or something. Oh god, hang on a second. I wanna go- I wanna go back and get that. Wait, wait a second. Oh, Jesus! Okay, there, I- I actually grabbed it. I actually grabbed it. Hang on. Make the checkpoint. There we go. Just to ensure that I actually do have it. I'm gonna assume those are important for something. They're probably, like, collectibles that I need to obtain. If I want to 100% the game. I don't know how much exactly I'm gonna focus on those, but... Oh, good god. Oh, what the heck? Did I just double jump? Hold on a minute. What is this? Oh, I just bounce off this little blue line right here. Okay, are you bad? You don't appear to be bad. I think I actually obtained you. Are you friendly? Oh, you appear to be. Okay, wait, I gotta follow you. I gotta follow you around. Hello. Where, where are you leading me, bud? Where are you leading me? Over here? Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, just follow him. Just follow him. Oh my god. Okay, I overshot that bubble entirely. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hold on. I got a little too much speed there. This is kind of cool. It's almost like physics-based. Yeah, it's like a physics-based 2D platformer that doesn't really involve platforming at all. You're basically just, like, swimming around in the air. This is kind of neat. Oh, good god. Oh, wow. There we go. 500 IQ play, boys and girls. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Okay, I'm- I'm kind of liking this right now. I'm kind of liking it. I mean, it's still way too early for me to really, like, form a final opinion on this right now, because I literally just started playing the game, but I'm- I'm enjoying it right now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that- that just disappeared all of a sudden. Uh-oh. 
Um... Wait, why is he going back up? Am I supposed to go back up? Hang on a second, I'm gonna- I'm gonna follow him. Cause I imagine that he's probably leading me to where I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's a jerk move right there. Hang on a sec. Let me go back up there. Okay, do I have to go up this way? Okay, I guess- I guess so. And that's- I- I'm assuming that's the ending right there. Um, there were only like three of those little objects that I had to collect, right? I think so? Okay, Botanist Cav, I got an achievement. So, I'm assuming those were all of the collectibles, if I had to guess. Probably? Yeah, it would appear so. That's- that's three out of three. Yeah, so I got- I got to the end, right? I got this little guy, so I guess I'm supposed to grab him as well, because he seems to be important for something, because I got a check mark for him too. And those are all the collectibles, so... I think that's it. I think that's everything. So I do believe it is fair to say that we have 100%ed that level. So we're gonna go to, uh, Castellet next. Let's do it then. Dash unlocked. Hold right click. Oh, dashing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So, the... the game actually pauses when I dash. Or, or like, well, it doesn't pause necessarily, but it, like, it slows down. Okay. So I think what I gotta do is that I gotta get a... gotta get a head start here. And dash! There we go. Got it. Yeah, it's just, I just, I just like hold right click and then I can, I can aim it in any direction I want. And the game does slow down to like, uh, give me time to adjust my, my direction. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Well, wait, is this, is this actually the whole level? Is this just like the entire level right then and there? It didn't tell me there were any collectibles that I needed to get in that level though. It just showed the portal. And that was it. Okay, I guess that's just a level that's introducing me to the dash mechanic. I guess I could have dashed, like, to the left. Like, I could have done it clockwise instead, but... It's okay. I'm not gonna waste too much time in any of these levels here. Yeah, I guess- I guess that is it. So, where... Where do I go to next, then, in that case? Castle, it's done. Can I just go, like, pretty much anywhere I want to? Or is there... Is there a specific level that I need to get to next? Well, actually, hang on a second. There's something highlighted over here. Valby? Okay, let's go and check out what Velby is. Here we go. Let's check out the suburbs of Velby. Because <laughs> that, that is what this map looks like. It looks like an actual city here. Okay, so... Free Hayden. Don't know what that word means. But it probably means... I don't know, something in a different language that I do not understand. What is this? Oh! Okay, that's kind of neat. There's, like, little rails here? That my little, like, jellyfish friend just kind of travels through? Oh, god, where am I going right now? Holy crap, boys and girls! Hello? Hang on a second. Let me just- let me just pause right here for a moment. I'm probably gonna have to dash back into here. Um... So where- oh god, where do I go next? Over- oh, not that way. Oops. Hang on a sec. Um, oh, down here. Hang on a second. Yeah, they're highlighted in yellow. Okay, well, I want to... Oh, frick. I want to try and get that, uh, that collectible right over there. Let me go and get it! Oh, I'm probably gonna have to dash. Okay, there we go, there we go. I have to dash into it. That's what I figured. Oh, shoot. Uh... Dash back into that one? Okay. Yeah, it seems like this is one of those levels where I'm gonna have to use, uh, dashing to my advantage here. Or I'm gonna have to use dashing in order to, like, complete the level. Okay? I don't know what exactly that says, but here, I found another- hang on a second. I'm gonna create another- another checkpoint here just to be on the safe side. Here we go. Oh my god, I love this music. Oh, frick! Okay, there we go. God, I'm- I'm not, like, paying attention at all here. Oh, what the heck? Those are, like, bouncy platforms. Oh, shoot. Okay, how many times can I actually, like, like, dash, though? I have no idea. I'm- I'm down here, though. So I'm safe. I didn't die. Uh, go back down this way. Yeah, because I want to go back into here. Oh, I gotta, like, ricochet off the platforms. Okay. And it shows me my exact trajectory as well when I bounce off of them. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dang neat. Okay. So I gotta, I gotta, like, try and tread carefully here. Or I can just be ballsy and just, like, like, just, like, full send it. Oh, j good lord. Hang on a second. Hang on a minute. <laughs> God. Okay, is there any, is there any way to, to, like show me how many collectibles I've obtained in the level so far. I'm pretty sure I've only collected, like, one of those- one of those upgrades. Okay, it did tell me that I need to collect you next, though. 
it did show me that on the uh, the map screen. Okay, so now wh what exactly is this? I have something in my mouth now. Oh god, what what in the world is this? Hello? Okay, the rail the rail is just like like uh, manifesting out of thin air now. Oh, okay, it's it's showing me like parts of the level that I wasn't able to see before. Now that I have this like little this weird little orb thing in my mouth. Okay, well let's hit this because I think this is taking me somewhere somewhere different. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ooh, I don't think these act as checkpoints though. That's the only issue here. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any checkpoints. Uh, or I'm not seeing like an like an outline here at all. Okay. Uh, where to go next? Oh wait, I think I need to go past this actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to. Okay, go go over this way and into here. There we go. Okay, yeah, keep keep on going then. I think I am actually doing this right. Um Oh god. Do I go down? Or do I go to the left? Oh no, I see where I need to go actually. I need to go over this way. Oh god, I I just dashed out of it. Damn it. <laughs> that was my fault. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, there are no checkpoints here. Okay, well, I think this was the thing I had to go in, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, hang on a second. This this can be this can be easily fixed. This can be easily fixed. This is not a problem. Oh, there was another like little collectible up there. Okay, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and and focus too much on the collectibles for now. I'm not going to try and focus too much on them. Cuz I don't want to waste like uh like too much time going through these levels. So, I think I'm actually just gonna ignore them for now. That's okay. That's totally fine. Okay, so I need to go bounce off of this and dash into this right here. Okay, well now we're back over this way though. But is this where we're supposed to go? I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, it is actually where we're supposed to go. Okay, let's let's keep going down this way then. This is like opening up a new area to us. Oh, that's actually the portal right there. Okay. Well, I died, like, right at the end, then, that meant. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. That was that was the end of that level. That was Valby. Okay. So, some sort of upgrade that allows us to see invisible platforms, or or something like that. I, I don't really know what that was all about. Okay, yeah, so that's that's two out of three. Maybe I'll, I'll come back to those upgrades off-screen, or I'll come back to those collectibles off-screen. Right now, I'm only interested in completing levels here, so... Let's try and find the next one, then, in that case. Yeah, because I don't, I don't really want to waste too much time trying to find collectibles here, guys. That's that's why. Um, it seems like there's something else that opened up over here. Assistance Kierkegaard. Okay, cool. Uh, this only has a portal in it, though. So I'm going to assume this is probably presenting another, like, upgrade of some sort. Like, another sort of permanent upgrade, I guess. I presume... Oh, goodness. Uh, whoa, what is this? Oh, we need to collect... We need to collect the portal pieces now? That's what I'm assuming is happening here. Oh, yeah. That's the first one. Actually, wait. Or is that what we're supposed to... Are we supposed to jump through all of them at the same time before landing? Ah, that is exactly what we have to do. We have to jump through all four of them at the same time. Here we go. Oh, oh damn it. I completely effed that up. Let me try that again. Hit... Dang it, I'm I'm not hitting that at the at the right angle. Go like this. Nope, not like that either. Hang on, I can probably dash. Just dash through it. Okay, hold on a second. This this seems a little tricky. Hang on, dash back into that one. There we go. Yeah, the portal is now open. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to have to Yeah, some in some levels it seems like the portal is going to be separated into small fragments and I have to jump through all the fragments at the same time in order to open up the portal. I see. Okay, but other than that, that's pretty much that entire level. So that's it. We 100% completed that one. All right, and no, that thing was already open to us. Okay, so where where to next? Where to next? Seems like there's a lot of places we can go to next. Is this the next one? Yeah, Christinia. All right, and we get to uh, we get to meet this little like uh, Magnemite guy in this level apparently. Again, he kind of looks like Magnemite to me. Am I the only one who sees it? Begin dash here. Okay. I began the dash there. I think I was a little too too low to the ground. Uh, or a little too low in the air. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, jump, and then dash. There we go, we made it. We made it, and then dash again. Yes, okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to make like really really huge leaps now. It seems. Okay, I see what's going on. There appears to be a block that is missing right here. We can probably restore it somehow, if I had to guess, unless that's just part of the background, in which case I'm just stupid and overthinking everything again. Let me go down here. Yeah, I like how I like how my little jellyfish creature's tentacles are also like physics based as well. It looks really cool. Okay. Go through here. Okay, maybe maybe I don't I don't wanna like risk it risk this just yet. Oh my god, please. Okay, hang on. I think I gotta dash. Nope, I don't have to dash. Well, I think I I think I can, but it's just like I have to time it a little bit better. There we go. And dash through here. Nope, that actually that actually gets rid of those blocks. Okay, wait, wait a second. What what, what what's going on here? What's what what exactly is going on here? Oh, is it because I because of the fact that I dashed it 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 disappeared? Oh, I think that is exactly why it disappeared. Um, okay, well I hit that thing and it and it like burst into a bunch of colors. Don't exactly know what that means. Uh, let me jump into here. Because this is the thing that I could probably use as a checkpoint. Okay, so let me go back this way for a minute because I want to see what's up here. Oh, it's another, like, uh... It's, an, it's another one of those upgrades, actually. Okay, here's the only issue. Here's the only issue. If I dash back into this, which I... Actually, wait a second. I had no reason to dash back into that. What am I doing right now? <laughs> or no, if I didn't dash into it, then it would have it would have disappeared. Okay, well, hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think I see how exactly I could grab this, but I'm definitely not doing this correctly, though. Okay, hang on a second. I think I, I think I see. I think I see. Oh god, I almost had it. I almost freaking had it, dude. Oh wait, no. This is one of those. This is one of those uh, things that we saw in one of the earlier levels that I can bounce off of. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on a second. I'm not doing this right at all. Every, I'm just like screwing everything up right now. Hang on a minute. There we go, I think. Oh, okay, well I guess we're just I guess we're just getting out of here now. Okay. Let me dash. There we go. Let me dash again. Nice. I think I'm going to dash into this bottom block right here. There we go. Okay, we're at, we're we're in the clear now. We're in the clear. We got that one. I mean, I said I wasn't going to go for the collectibles, but it that that one just looked like an easy one, okay? It looked like an easy target. So that's why I went for it. Here we go. I'm going to bounce yeah, you know what, I'm gonna bounce off of this one and go up here. Very nice. Um, you're probably not dangerous. I, I, I don't think you are. Well, actually, hang on a second. Can I ricochet into you? Okay, yeah, you're just part of the background, though. So no, you don't hurt me, then, in that case. Hang on a second. Let me just reset this to here. There we go. Okay. Dash again. Yeah, it seems like these some of these platforms disappear and reappear whenever I dash. Let me go down here. What exactly are these little blocks? Can I collide with you? No, you're just part of the background. Okay, well, anyway, let's just let's just keep going. Maybe this maybe these are supposed to be like houses. I could imagine that this is supposed to be like a roof of some sort or like a chimney perhaps. I don't exactly know. I don't really know what's going on in this game. Oh, a nice rainbow at least. I did like a little bit of a a little bit of a, a 180 spin there as well. That looked kind of neat. Go up here. All right. This is a very stylish game, to say the least. Uh, okay, where do I want to go? Do I want to go over that way? Even though I, like, completely botched that jump, but let's let's try it. Oh, yeah, I, for I forgot you just fall through these platforms. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know where exactly I should be going. I'm gonna assume that there's probably another collectible up that way, if I had to guess. It kind of seems like there is. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a minute. I'm too curious now. I'm way too curious. Okay, let me try and bounce off of that. Oh god, I double I double dashed unintentionally there. Hold on a second. Let me let me let me reset for a second. Up here over that way? No, I don't think I'm supposed to go over there. Oh, here we go. I, I actually made it. Oh no, this is where the portal is located, I think. Is this the portal? Oh god, I have no freaking idea. Okay, hang on a second. Let me let me try and actually like grab all of this stuff here just to make like 100% sure. No, no, no. I'm not I'm not restarting there. No freaking way that's happening. Okay. I need to use these platforms for something cuz this also seems like it resets my dash whenever I go through these uh whenever I bounce off of these like mirrors or whatever the heck they're supposed to be. <laughs> here we go. I got a Maybe? Yeah, okay, there we go. We got it. Oh no, that is actually a collectible. 
Oh, so even the collectibles you need to like, they're, they're gonna be fragmented and we need to collect all the, all the separate pieces at the same time to make that appear as well. Okay, I understand now. I understand what's happening. Okay, so in that case, let's go into this rail. There we go, let's just ride the rail. Grind that rail, boys. There we go, Baron S indeed. Very nice. Let me just jump through these platforms right here. God, I love I love all of these freaking colors here. Yeah, all these little all these little other creatures right here, like these little flyers. Okay, that's actually a a a, a trampoline of some sort. Because I, I don't know what else to how else to describe it. I gotta fly over it. Yeah. Oh god, where am I going? Oh no 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 no! Oh frick! Okay, wait, I'm falling into the. Okay. <laughs> God, I wasn't sure if I was going to die because it it, it it seemed like I was going to at least five separate occasions within like three seconds. On five separate occasions within the last three seconds, it looked like I was going to die, but then I didn't and I thought I was going to. Oh, what is happening right now? Oh, when I bounce off the trampolines, that also resets my dash. Okay, well, hang on. Hold on a minute because I want to go back up here because it seems like there's another collectible that I could get. Yeah. Oh no, I'm going to I'm going to miss the the trampoline. Okay, there there there. Get it? Yeah. God, I love the use of colors in this game. I just love all these games where you can just like make colors explode all over the screen. One of the things that I loved about Geometry Wars. It's definitely one of the things that I'm that I'm definitely digging about this game right now. Hang on. I want to try and swim back up because I fell all the way down here unintentionally. I didn't do that on purpose. Hang on. Let me go up here. Let me go back up here for just a minute. Let me see here. Yeah, so like, like, what exactly was the path that I took in order to get down here? Yeah, I, I went, I went over that trampoline, and then I fell down like 50 feet. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything else over there, actually. Okay, fine. We're gonna ignore that for now, then, in that case. Here we go. We're just gonna, we're gonna go back down, then. Oh, God, or we're just gonna bounce. Okay, I think this is where we're supposed to go anyway. Nope, that's not where we're supposed to go. <laughs> oh, God, okay, we need to fall. We have to fall. I know that for a fact. Okay, now we need to use these trampolines to our advantage. Somehow. Yep. Hit that. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so now we're gonna need need some more dashes to make these platforms appear. Then we dash again to make the blue ones appear. Or no, that's green, actually. And I screwed it up anyway, so I have to do it again. Let's try that again. <laughs> Something appears to be pulsating over this way. Can't quite tell what it is exactly, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's hit this and go over this way. Oh god. Oh no, no, no. I made it. I made it. I forgot that these these little decorations in in the background are just part of the background. They're not solid. Okay, what what is over here then? God, is that the portal? I think it is. Okay, let me let me try going up here just to see what there what there is that I can find. Yeah, something is pulsating over this way. Something is sending out signals of some sort. I'm going to figure out what exactly it is. Huh? Oh god, um, yeah, it's another collectible actually, because I can see the fragments over that way. Okay, hang on a second. It seems like we could very easily get to that, though. I want to try and see if I can. I want to try and see if I actually can. Um, I don't think I need a dash here. Oh yeah, I'll just make it. I'll just make it. There we go. Alright, let's see... Okay. Let's try and ricochet... Oh, no, that's not gonna be a large enough ricochet, is it? Oh, or maybe it will. Hang on a minute. Hold on a minute. Damn it. Okay, here we go. This is perfect right here because I have a- I have a checkpoint. Hit that. Okay, how did- how did my other thing get reset, though? I have no idea. Oh, no, I'm not restarting there. No way in heck am I doing that. So do I need to hit... Those... Like, I'm not getting enough, uh, I'm not getting enough distance, like, enough vertical distance to be able to hit that one on the top and then ricochet again. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing something wrong here, then. Hit- oh god, where the frick am I going right now? Please? Actually, it might be better if I go back to this block right here, because at least I can approach this diagonally. Uh, mm, not like that. Not like that! Okay, let me- let me try doing this again. Like that. Do I just do it again? Oh, I think when I ricochet, that allows me to... That allows me to use it again. Oh, God. What am I doing right now? <laughs> Hang on a second. I almost had it. I almost had it. Okay, I have I have a good idea as to what I'm supposed to be doing now. Yeah, I think this is... This is pretty much what I should be doing. Okay, yeah. I don't think I should be ricocheting like that. I should only ricochet like that when I'm actually, like... Ab about to get the last, uh... About to get the last piece. 
like, something along the lines of, oh god. Something along the lines of, oh god. Like, this probably- oh my god, I almost had it. Just barely missed that piece in the top right. Hang on. Hang on, we're gonna- we're gonna get this here. I'm aware that I- I mentioned I wouldn't be wasting my time with this, but I'm- I- I really feel like I could potentially do this. Ho! Huh, there we go, I got it. Now I just need to like- okay, hang on a second. Reset the checkpoint. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we grab this. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. I don't even care where I end up. Just restart from there. Yeah, restart from here. There we go. I don't even know if that's- if that's all the collectibles that I've achieved already. Actually, can I even go in that portal right now? I don't think I can. Can I? Oh no, I actually can't. Okay, well, there must be some fragments laying about somewhere that I didn't notice before. Okay, hang on a second. Portal? Actually, that's not the other thing that was- that was pulsing before. It was something different. Okay, yeah, there's definitely- there is definitely something over this way. What exactly is going on over here? Over here. Oh, oh, it's you! Okay, the little Magnemite guy. Okay, hang on a second. I have to go and grab you then. I have to go and grab you somehow. Hit this. Into here. Yes, okay. There we go, that works. Just in case this doesn't, uh, dash again. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. How you doing? Let me grab you. Okay, so what sort of power are you gonna bestow upon me? I wonder. Let me guess, maybe I'm magnetized? Oh no, you're just- you're just leaving again. You're just showing me, uh, the path. The path that I need to- that I need to take to get out of this crazy maze? Okay. I'll follow you then. Oh, you're the one who opens up the portal. Oh, interesting. Christiania. Christiania. God, why can I not pronounce anything today? My god. Oh, okay, so I needed you to open up the portal for me, so the- the parts- the pieces were not fragmented. Okay. I thought I would have had to collect some more pieces again. I guess not. Okay, we're good then. Oh no, I- I actually did miss one at- at some point in the level, because I only got four out of five. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. That's fine for now. I believe this- this thing opened up. Yep. Or- or Sparkin. Yeah, this is definitely in a different language. I'm- I'm gonna assume that this is probably... I don't know, maybe Danish or Norwegian? I'm not entirely sure, because I don't know where, uh... I don't know where the developer of this game is based in, but it's clearly somewhere in Europe. Because these are definitely real words, but they're just not in English. Oh, good lord. Okay, what is this? This is a little more complicated. Okay, well, uh, we bounce. First we bounce, and then we ricochet. Oh, lord. Okay, ricochet immediately. Good lord. What was I hesitating there for? Okay, <laughs> let's go back over this way. No, no, no. I'm taking the easy route out of here. There we go. I see. So it's gonna become even more complicated now, I see. So we're gonna have to combine, like, trampoline bounces with ricochets in order to get pieces of the portal re-enabled, or to get the portal re-enabled by picking up the pieces. Alright, sounds like a plan then. What else got opened up here? Let me- let me go around the map just to see. What exactly got unlocked? Something must have been unlocked. Oh yeah, right over here, what is- what is this? This looks like a bunch of rails. Uh, Sid Havnen. Okay, cool. Let's go there. Let's go to Sid Havnen. All right. Yeah, there's definitely a rail right here. Just just based on the location of this level on the map, it kind of seemed like there was probably going to be a lot of rails. It kind of looked like a train station of some sort. Okay, so this is going to be a little weird, uh, but we got in because I was being guarded by trampolines. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to have to make some, some sick maneuvers right here. Up that way. Yes, I did it. Oh god, why are we going back around? Are we supposed to do that? Oh god. Oh no, we do actually, because we need to we need to go back up this way. Okay, there we go. That's slow motion though. Alright. I was just holding that because I had no idea where I was supposed to go next. There we go. Let's just stay right here. Okay, checkpoint reach. Now keep going. Keep on going. Oh god, what is this? Okay, I'll- 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 I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Here we go. Just ri- I have to ricochet to the top of it anyway, I think. Like that, like that, and bounce back into it like that, yes. Okay, and then just go into- god, there's so many colors exploding right now, there we go. Just bounce back into the little bubble. Okay, we're- <laughs> we're good, I don't even know how I did that, there we go. Alright. Trampoline. Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to get to the trampoline. There we go. 
Very nice. Got another nice loop. Uh, I messed that up completely. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Up here, bounce on the trampoline. Go back into the into the rail. There we go. Rail transportation system. And we just bounce into that. Yeah, just kind of like that. Into here. Oh god, why are we going the other way though? Um, hello? Wait, what exactly are we supposed to be doing here? Hold on a second. I probably have to... Oh no, I just completely mistimed it. Wait, I can, I can go back. I can go back to it. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I'm gonna save this here. I'm gonna save this because I think I see what I did wrong. Oh, that is definitely not what I did wrong. Okay, here, here, here we go. But do I have to, like... I want to try and bounce back over this way. Okay, no, that does work. That does work. Okay, I guess I'm just avoiding that altogether. Fine, then. Oh, wait, no, are we going back? God! <laughs> I'm getting, like, thrown all over the place right now. Okay, here we go. This will actually allow me to, to, to like, do this properly. Okay, I'm not even doing it properly right now. Hang on a second. Gotta bounce. Gotta bounce. Okay, I want to bounce back down in. And then bounce up. There we go. And I want to try and grab that before I go back into the bubble, if I possibly can. Let me bounce one more time. There we go. And right about here. Very nice indeed. Oh god, no, no, okay, 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 we're good. We're good. Alright, now take the rail. I almost overshot the rail. Good god. Okay, now I need to go up. And I completely missed it. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well I still have the, uh, I still have the, uh, collectible though, at least. Here, I think I need to... Can I go? Okay, yeah, I can dash as soon as I get out of it. That's what I thought. Bounce up. There we go. Oh, that's another collectible, though. Oh, it's teasing me with these collectibles. Oh my god, dude, where am I going? It's like throwing me back, throwing me forwards. My god. Okay, so I guess... Do I just need to avoid this altogether? What if I go up here and then I can just fall down on it? Okay, well, I completely botched that because I mean... Yeah, the only way I can keep dashing over and over is if I'm actually hitting that, uh... If I'm actually hitting those mirrors, because that replenishes it. Like this. Yeah, but I don't want to go back in there, though. Okay, what what, what do I what do I want to do about this? I really need to think about this here for a second. I gotta think. I really need to try and think, because I am not doing a whole lot of that right now. Up this way. No, I'm gonna fall back into the rail. Okay. No, there's definitely something flashing over there, though. I know that for a fact. Uh, up this way? No. Hang on. Oh, like that. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, then. Oh, my God. Okay. There, I think we did get the collectible. And this is the other thing that we need to collect as well. This little, this little object right here. What is this? What sort of power do we have now, I wonder? Oh, this is just showing us rails that were, that were disappeared before. Or rails that are invisible. Okay. Ride this. Yeah, this is gonna be another section that has no checkpoints, though. Um, okay, well, we're... God, where do we go to now? I'm gonna assume back over this way? Maybe? I mean, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Yeah, it kind of seems like there's something over here, actually. Or no, that's that's the rail we were already at. Oh, no, it's, it's showing something... It's showing something new. It's showing something new. Okay, here we go. So, go through these little bubbles that we couldn't see before... And I guess when we didn't have this upgrade, we couldn't even interact with them at all. So I have to fall into here. Oh, God. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna assume over this way, though. Probably. Oh! Nice bounce. Very good bounce. Okay, yeah, we do need to go down this way, because I think it's showing... Is it displaying something new again? Or is it? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, no, it is. It is. This bubble... God, it's, it's not exactly easy to tell where exactly I'm supposed to be going, but I'm just... I'm trying to figure it out, man. I'm trying to figure it out. Just figuring it out as we go along. Okay, wait, I saw it. I, I saw, like, a little thing over here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, up this way? Oh, I might need to dash for that one. Here we go. Okay, so let's just let's just keep swimming up this way, then. Wait, is this just taking, this taking us back to a, to a different area? I think it is. Or is it? No, it just took us back to the same area. Oh, so that's looping around. Okay, well, in that case, what if I go up? What if I try going back upwards, perhaps? Where's that gonna take me? Yeah, let's let's hit that, or let's not hit that. Oh god, please, where am I even going? Okay, I think I saw a little a little piece of geometry over there that I wasn't able to see before, actually. 
Um, oh, well, actually, hang on a second. I never saw this before either. Hit this, hit that, that, and oh no. Oh no. No, I miscalculated that entirely. Frick. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, <laughs> we're just going flying now, boys. I'm just, like, missing everything. Okay, hang on. Before I keep going, this, 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 and... Bleh. Yeah. Okay, there. Get this collectible. Hit that checkpoint first. There. Nice. Okay, we have it. We have it. How about I just go into this bubble quickly just to ensure that I that I keep it. There. Okay. Now. Where the frick are we supposed to go next? Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out on my own. It seems like there's something pulsating over that way though, so I'm gonna assume maybe up there, possibly. Let's 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 find out. Let's find out if I'm right. Yeah, it looks like they're I'm kind of thinking that there might be something down this way, perhaps. Next to one of those rails. Yeah, like, ba like back down here. Perhaps. Yeah, there is actually something. There's something that's appearing. Okay, so I need to go- I need to go back this way. We need to go over this way. Indeed. Oh, it just leads into a portal. That's it. Okay, that's Sid Havnan. Sid Havnan is done. I'm pretty sure I missed one of the collectibles, but that's okay. That is fine. Oh no, I didn't miss any collectibles. That's all of them, actually. Four to four. Oh, huh, okay. Well, we're, we're, we're good on that front, then. We're good on that front. Yeah, what was what was this one? This one said two out of three. Four out of four. What was the one that I got five out of five on? I think it was the... Yeah, or, or no, that was three out of three. Botanisk have. All right, let's swim around for another level to complete. Right over here. Bella Center. Okay. The first level that's actually in English, basically. Basically English. This seems like it's it's introducing us to another upgrade of some sort, I'm assuming, or some other sort of, like, very complex mechanic that we'll get introduced to later. Oh! The trampolines! They're blocking the way! So I'm gonna go the other way. Does it wrap? Oh no, it doesn't wrap. Huh. Okay, well, I was under- I was under the impression that maybe the screen was gonna wrap vertically, perhaps? But it doesn't. Okay, well, let, let me try this then, in that case. Oh, no! I can dash through the trampolines! Oh! Okay. Like, I- I- I can- like, I can- I still collide with them when I'm just moving straight into them, but I can actually dash through them. Okay, they're not solid if I dash through them. But they are solid if I just, like, swim straight into them normally. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. So is that one way that I can just avoid the trampolines altogether? I can just dash right through them and it's like, it, it doesn't even matter? Okay, I'm gonna assume. That's Bella Center. Uh... Alright, next level then in that case. <laughs> Let's try and at least play one more level that possibly introduces that mechanic or demonstrates that mechanic to us. Vester bro. Alright, let's go to Vester bro. Let's meet up with my bro is in Vester bro. Yeah, let's try Let's try out this level here. I don't know if this is going to be the last level that I try out before I uh, go and check out the 2013 Game Jam demo, because I do want to try out that version of the game in this video as well. So maybe I'll tr just try and play like one more level here, and then we'll uh... We'll like, uh, oh god, I messed this up entirely. Uh, yeah, like, let's play one more level, and then I somehow save that. <laughs> okay, hang on, let me try to finish my sentence here before I, I start, like, you know, losing my entire attention span. I'm gonna play one more level here, and then what I would like to do after that is that I would like to try and play the 2013 Game Jam version of this game. Because I want to see how far this game has come within the past eight years, because this game was in development for a pretty long time, man. So I would like to see, uh, how exactly it changed throughout the course of its development. I would very much like to see, I'm really curious about that. Don't know where I should be going. I'm gonna zoom over this way, maybe. <laughs> Probably- oh my god, is this just gonna take me back to another area that I was already at previously? Oh no, it's actually not. Hang on a second, what is this? What is this exactly? I'm going back around. Oh god, there's so many loops here, man. So many loops. So many loop-the-loops. Uh, yeah, just go in here. I would say just go in there. Probably. Okay, we're here. Um, there's a collectible up that way, actually. Let me, let me go get it. I, 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 I want it. 
Give me, give me it, please. It seems like a very... No, that's not simple, because those are fragments. Okay, hang on. Hold on a sec. Hit this. Uh, hello? Is that gonna ricochet me? Yeah, it does. Okay. Up here. Up. Not quite up like that. Okay, I got it. Good. Okay. We got it then. Oh yeah, this is also the, the thing that I need to collect right here. To show me some of the other, uh... Yeah, it's show me some of the other missing paths, basically. There we go, I gotcha. I got you, bud. U unless this is gonna this is gonna show me something else. Okay, no, it doesn't. Oh my god, there's more collectibles over over that way. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Why am I even going for these? I even said like like ten minutes ago that I wasn't gonna go for these at all. Oh, that's right. I I I bounced through that, or or I I I can dash right through the trampolines. I forgot about that. Okay, I need to bounce. I need to ricochet off of this one right here. Or do I just want to keep on going and bouncing? Oh, maybe I do want to just bounce, actually, for just a little bit. Hang on. Up here. Bounce back around. Go this way, yeah. And then... Uh... Oh, no. This... I might have screwed this up. I might have screwed it up! Oh, no. I did. I definitely screwed it. I screwed it. I screwed the pooch. Oh, but the collectible is still there, though. Oh, okay. So, I guess... Yeah, as long as you collect all of the fragments at the exact same time, then the collectible will actually stay there. Yeah, until until you grab it. Okay, I get it. I get it. So I, I, I thought it would just reset completely. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's keep going down here, because I assume I have to. Let's try going down this way, just to assume that there... Oh yeah, there's, there's another path down here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's a path that was completely missing over here. Oh, this is just a rail that leads down to this path. Oh, well, this is probably where I, how I was supposed to approach this to begin with. Most likely. Okay, what what exactly do I do, I do about this here? Because I gotta try and figure it out. What if I go back over this way for now? Yeah, there's another rail. There is, in fact, another rail. Okay, where is the rail gonna take me? The rail take me to another portal? Okay, no, it's going... No, it, it does take me to another portal. Oh, that's it. That, that, that's Vester, bro. That's Vester, bro. Okay, that was actually a much shorter level than I thought it was gonna be. I thought that was gonna go on for at least a little while longer. Alright, well that's fine with me then. Yeah, I did go past one of them. Okay, fine. Fine. What other level got opened up then? What is this one? This one is Clover Markin. And this only has a portal, so I'm assuming this is just showing off another mechanic here? Another new one? Okay, what the freak is this now? Um... Through here... I th Oh no, that's not- that's not it actually. That's not it. Off this? Oh, okay, wait a second. Um, this is a little weird. This is a little bit strange. Oh god, I jumped over it, but... Huh. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? So there is, like, a mirror right here that I can- I can bounce off of. Yes. Oh, do I need to bounce in between somehow? Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Like... Do I have to, like, try and bounce in between these somehow? Like... Well, no, I'm just- because I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna fly right through it. Oh, God. Okay, well, I made it to the other side. Oh, no, I need to pass it first and then bounce off of it to get more air time. Okay, no, 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 I understand. I understand what I'm doing wrong. Now I have to do it the other way, though. Yeah, I gotta try and do it the other way now. Huh? Bounce. Bounce again. Oh, God. Here we go. Like this. Yeah, there. Okay, that works. That works. I don't really need this checkpoint here, but just in case I mess this jump up, which I didn't. Very nice indeed. Okay. Right, well, that's Clover Markin. So is there... what else got opened up after that, then? Anything? Yeah, what is... what is this building right here? Castrup. Oh, there's five to collect here. Okay, you know what? This will be the last level that I play. And then maybe I'll go in and try to find another, like, mechanic introducing level that only has a portal. I'll play that. And then after that, we're going to end this portion of the video. And then after that, I want to go and play the 2013 demo. What is this? Whoa, wait a second. This is a completely different color palette. Ooh, there's there's actual bubbles now. Wait, are we actually Wait, what is that? What do we have loading icons here? What is this what does this entail? Hello? Oh, this is this is this is some music right here. This is definitely some music. Okay. 
Um, I'm a little confused. Are we actually underwater? What is that bubble? Are you deadly? No, you are not deadly, but I don't understand why you look different than all the other ones. Unless that was just a design choice? I don't freaking know. Oh, because you pop when I dash. Uh-oh. Wait a second, do none of these have... Oh, none of these have checkpoints, I don't think. Uh-oh. I may have to do this without checkpoints. Oh no, I, I don't have to. We have these bubbles again. Okay. Oh, they all come back when I when I go through the checkpoints. Ah, oh, alright. I think I understand. <laughs> um, I don't really understand at all. Dash. Nope, the dash did not cause that to come back. Oops. Okay, let's try that again then. I just have to dash through it then, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Oh my god, dude, what in the world is this? This is trippy. I'm tripping balls right now. Um, there's a collectible over here. Hit it! Yeah, yeah. I gotta land somewhere. Okay, there. I landed in the plus. I landed in the plus sign. I got it. Okay, let me, let me go back up that way. Well, actually, I think that rail is just leading back to the area that I was already at. Is it? Let me see. Yeah, it does just lead back to that area. Okay, whatever. Keep going. Move on. Move on with your life. What is this? Hit that. Oh god, okay. I'm, I'm in here. Oh Jesus, that actually pushes me out. If I stay in it for too long. Oh god, okay. Okay, okay. We, we, we go? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh god, that, that disappeared. It disappeared. Oh my lord, I'm getting bounced around like a pinball. Oh god. Give me this. Thank you. Oh, nice, nice, beautiful explosions of color. Okay. So I think these bubbles are gonna pop if I dash too much. Oh, d d hang on. Is this gonna pop? Should I just avoid you in case you do pop? Yeah, you do, actually. Okay, well, here. Here's here's a checkpoint. Oh, God, yeah, these things are like... These things become, like, electrified if I take too long to... to, to fly out of them. Okay. Well, that seems... That seems like I can I can easily deal with that. Yeah, kind of just kind of just makes my my tentacles like fly around. I kind of I kind of like that. Um okay, go up this way. I think okay, that does in fact work. More collectibles up that way? Okay, I'll I'll go for that one. I don't even know why I'm going for these collectibles to begin with, but whatever. It's 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 fine, all right? It's okay. Let's just bounce around a little bit. I'm going to I I'd like to go to the to the to the right, actually, not the left. That's where I was already going. God, Taylor, please. Learn what- learn your cardinal directions, man, for God's sake. Okay, there, I got it. Now I'm just bouncing around. Bouncing around all over the place. I got it. Okay, there. Got that collectible? Good, we can move on with our lives now. Here we go, let me just stop on the right one. There we go, in case I get stopped by something. Oh god, like my own stupidity, for instance? Oh lord? Okay, we're, we're still going. We're fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. I'm kind of glad that I waited to play this level, actually. This this has, like, a completely different vibe than any, than any of the other levels that I've encountered so far. Like, even the color palette is completely different. Okay. I am gonna assume there's another collectible up here. Okay, well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 uh, try to ricochet off of this, and off of that, and off of... Oh, yeah, there is another one up here. Off of this. Dash. Stay right here. Yes. Okay. And up here, okay, bounce, bounce again, please. There we go. Grab it, yep, and then grind the rail. There we go, back into the bubble. Okay, well, hang on. We need to get out of the bubble. Oh, no, 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 no. Dash, there we go, saved it. <laughs> I saved it, we're good. Don't even worry about a thing. Don't even worry about a thing. Oh my god, dude. Frick, okay, good thing I have a dashing ability here. And good thing the, the game also slows down, and it's like, it's like a bullet time mechanic. Game slows down, so it gives me enough time to, like, collect my bearings here. Alright, let's go down here. Oh yeah, there's something that's pulsating a lot over this way. Sending out all sorts of signals. I thought I was just gonna fall and avoid that altogether. Um, there's a lot of trampolines here. I don't know how I feel about the trampolines right now. I would like to fly over that, I think. Yes, I do want to. Oh lord, where am I going? What the frick is this? Like a labyrinth of, of trampolines. Okay, I got to a checkpoint at least. Okay, there's 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 something up here. I'm too curious. There's definitely something up this way. 
It's another collectible, because of course, of course it is. Oh my god, please. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can dash through the trampolines, though. Which hypothetically would mean that this should be fairly easy to grab this one up all the way up here. Hopefully. There we go. Hit that. Hit this. Oh my god, dude. I need to, like, go over... No, not that way. Let me go, uh, like, a little... Like, like, right up here. Directly upwards. No, I still fell. Okay, hang on. Go up this way! Dang it! <laughs> Oh my lord, where am I freaking going? I am just flying all over the damn place right now. Oh, here we go. Saved it. Basically. Basically saved it, or did I? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, we're not out of the game just yet. Don't count us out of the out of the ball game just yet. Okay, well, maybe you can count us out now because I died again. Okay, you know what? Just go over this way. Yeah, here we go. And then I think I can just... I can literally just, like, dash through this. There we go. And then bounce off of it again. Grab it. Now I need to find a way to get back down, though. Which I think can easily be arranged. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We good. Let's keep going. Bounce. Um, but bounce to where, though? That's the question. I'm gonna assume... Oh, down over that way? Okay, well, that could probably be arranged. Um, probably. Yeah, go... Yeah, just dash through it. Dash through it. God, I'm so nervous to dash through through the trampolines, or I keep forgetting that I can dash through them. My lord. We're good. Why is that rotating? Why in the ever-loving frick is that rotating? Oh no. Oh no. If I just stay in there, I'm gonna- I'm gonna fly out of them, so I- I have to just, like, go. I have to just go. Okay, dashing doesn't cause them to disappear. That's fine. Um... Up this way. Yes. Yes. Hit that. Go up there. Yes. I think we're safe. Yes, we are. Get the bubble back. I want to try and get into the bubble without dashing. If I can even do that. Okay, fine then. Fine. That's a cannon. Yeah, okay, that actually does kind of help me that time around. Okay, that's that's totally okay then. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm going to have no choice but to dash into this one though. For sure. Yeah. Okay, this, this seems like a safe one though. This seems like a safe one. Yeah. Okay. Hit the trampoline. Not gonna dash. Yeah, it seems like if I dash too much, the bubbles will just pop. That's not what I want. Uh, that's also not quite what I wanted, but maybe I can save it. Never mind. I couldn't. Let's try that again. Try that again. Hit that. And hit this. And I think we good. I think we good. Yep, there we go. Um, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up because I'm too curious again. Oh my god, there's another thing up here, isn't there? There's another thing. There's another thing. Go up here like this. There we go. That that works. Yep, this is uh this is the little guy that we had to grab before. Alright. So you swim. Okay, it just seems like you're doing the same thing as all the other guys, though. You're just swimming to the exit. I presume. Yeah. I like the little splashes that you make, though, at least. Yeah, we're actually underwater this time. We are basically underwater. So now this now the, the setting of the game makes a lot more sense. Oh, you just lead to the portal. Oh, I gotta jump. Gotta jump out. Yep, there we go. That's Castor up. Okay. Well, that's it for that level, then. Okay, so that will probably be, like, the, the last normal level that I play in this video, because I have been recording for a while already, and I do want to try and play that 2013 uh, Game Jam demo in just a minute, so hang on here. Let's see how many collectibles I missed. I did not miss any collectibles, actually. That was all five of them. Oh, okay. Cool, then. All right, so there's definitely some that I'm gonna have to come back for, for absolute sure. Some that I'm missing in some of the previous levels. Okay, so so one thing I've noticed is that every time I play a normal level, there's usually a level that follows it where it's just introducing like a brand new mechanic into the game. Or like a brand new gameplay mechanic. Or, or I guess more like a level design mechanic, because I think the only other mechanic it introduced me to is the dash. But this is a level called Planetarium. And I'm kind of curious to see what this is all about. What are you going to introduce me to now? Oh god, are we actually in space? Oh, these are basically asteroids. Oh my god, okay, okay. Let's jump! I missed it! I completely missed it altogether. Oh my god, please. Here, how about I reset my position to here? So that I don't have to go all the way back. There. Hit. Uh, I, that, that'll probably work, honestly. Yeah, just like that. Hit this. 
Oh, look at that. Bounce right into the portal. Very nice. God, I definitely want to see this game speedrun at, at uh, Games Done Quick for absolute sure, because this game definitely has some speedrunning potential in it. Yeah, unfortunately, the game came out a little too late, because the schedule for SGDQ 2021 has already been announced. But maybe next year. Maybe at uh, HDQ 2022. Somebody can try to run uh, Yinlet. I would definitely like to see it happen, because this game this game is pretty freaking cool, man. I like the movement tech in this game a lot. It feels very fluid, no pun intended. Yeah, feels very, very tight and responsive, and I like that. And I mean, the game's also physics-based as well, so I guess there's a little bit of luck that's involved too, but yeah. I think for now though, guys, that is the last level I am gonna play, like the last normal level that I am gonna play just for now. Because what I would like to do now is check out the 2013 Game Jam demo that is also included with the full version of the game. So we are going to go and check out that version of the game for a little while, and then after that we're going to end this video. What is this level called? Tarnby? Uh, yeah, I'll save Tarnby for uh, a different time. And I mean, I'm not going to be revisiting this game at any point in the future, so I'll just play it off screen. Alright, I think I am done for now. Uh, yeah, let's just exit to the main menu. Whoa, hang on a second. My, my file is already at 68%? Wait, did I actually, did I really just complete like two-thirds of the entire game? Hang on a second. Was that really like more than half of the game that I just showed off? Seriously? Huh. Well, I mean, this game was only $8, so I, I was thinking that, okay, well, it's probably not a very huge game, but holy crap, man, I've only been playing this for an hour, and we almost beat 70% of the game. Yeah, not not quite 69, it's like one point lower than 69, which is a little unfortunate, but huh, I was not aware I was already, like, like already into the second half of the game. I had no freaking idea. Okay, well... Either way, I am still gonna end the video here, because I would rather not spoil, like, the rest of the game for you guys. If you want to go and, uh, check out how the game ends, then just go buy the game yourself. It's not expensive anyway, it's only $8. It seems like there's a variety of bonus levels that you can unlock as well, and just out of curiosity, have I already... have I already unlocked some of them? Oh, I have, apparently. Struts? Okay, wait. What exactly is this? I didn't realize I had already unlocked these bonus levels. I thought that was something that you had to unlock from playing the game. Or maybe I already had them. I have no clue. Hello? What this? Oh no. I don't know about that. There's a lot of trampolines that are blocking that bubble over there. Okay. I'll I'll try tackling those levels off screen. Cause I'm 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 getting a little bit distracted now. So I wanna go check out the 2013 game jam demo for Yinlet. And then after that. We're ending the video, so let's go do that quickly. Alright, so this is the Yinlet 2013 prototype that was originally developed for a game jam. It doesn't mention what game jam it was developed for specifically, but regardless, this is a very early prototype of Yinlet that comes with the full version of the game if you buy it on Steam. So this is actually kind of similar to Scanner Somber because I believe, if I remember correctly, when I played Scanner Somber a few years ago, the full game also comes with a early prototype of Scanner Somber, along with a prototype of another game called Wrongwire. And as a matter of fact, when I did play Scanner Somber a few years ago, I did also cover the early prototype of that game after I finished, like, the, the full game, and then I also covered the Wrongwire prototype, so... It wouldn't have been the first time I've done something like this, but I am very curious about what exactly this prototype entails, so let's just play it for a little while. Let's play it for a little bit. This is the 2013 prototype of Yinlet, and... Oh god, well I mean, this certainly looks a little rough around the edges, but again, it's understandable because it is just a prototype after all. But yeah, you can only control movement inside bubbles. Okay, well I kind of already knew that because I, I did play the... <laughs> I did play the full version of this already. Well, it seems like there were some basic sound effects that were already included with the game. No music though. And, yeah, this art style definitely looks a lot more rough, because they kind of just look like very simple sketches. Although I do kind of like these little, uh, almost like petals that are floating around in the background. Or maybe those are like cells of some sort. I have no freaking idea. Oh god, okay. 
your um collect a seed. Uh, it seems like your your little jellyfish friend was a lot floatier in this version of the game as well. Cause look how high he flies for goodness sakes. Holy crap. Okay, well co we'll collect the seed. Okay, what did the seed do? What does that do exactly? All right, it does seem like there is actually another level here. Collect three seeds. Okay, we'll do that then. I, I guess I have to fall through here. Yeah, so I, I guess there's no there's no dash ability, is there? No, because right clicking does absolutely nothing. Okay, we grab that seed. Um. Oh God, where where's the other one though? Oh, it's over this way. Okay, yeah, the seeds also looked like very rough as well. Yeah, you can you cannot control your movement at all when you're uh, outside of the bubble. Okay, well there's the second seed. And then I imagine that the third seed is probably up this way. Yeah, it, it, he feels so much floatier when he's, like, like flying out of the bubbles. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything up that way, though. So I need to figure out where exactly this, this final seed is. Oh, yeah. He just, he just kind of, like, soars through the air. Look at this, for goodness sakes. I mean, is there another seed up this way? No... So where is the other seed then? I gotta try and figure this out. Is it down here? Or is it to the right? Oh, it is to the right. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, let's 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 try and grab that seed. Actually, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go up here and grab it. There we go. And that's the end of that level. The level just ends immediately. Yeah, so it seems like there's no portals that were implemented yet. So you just collect the seeds, and immediately the levels end. Oh god, what is that thing? I have no idea, but it's pulsating, for sure. Okay, hang on a second, there is actually some music that is beginning to play now. There's- there's music in the later levels, but not like the- the starting level at all. Um, how about I go down over here? Yes, okay. That's two seeds so far. Need to collect six more. Okay, there's- there's the third one. Yeah, go through all of these bubbles to try and, uh, and find all the seeds. So, yeah, I guess it was very... Yeah, like, the the general gameplay, like, the gameplay itself was already there, but my god, man, yeah, this, this feels a little, uh, just a little bit, like, overly simplistic, if you ask me. So I'm definitely glad that it was, uh, like, the gameplay, like, the core gameplay was fleshed out a little bit more. It seems like it was already there from the start, though, at least, but, yeah. Okay, yeah, and that was not, like, any sort of portal or whatever that I had to jump through. Again, I collect the seeds and the level ends immediately. Okay, collect three seeds. Oh, I did notice something, though. The tentacles on my little jellyfish dude are starting to, to grow longer. Uh, I don't trust that. Um, was there any reason for me to not trust that? Because it didn't, it didn't actually hurt me. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. It, it does seem like my tentacles are getting longer, though. So I guess I, I collect the seeds and my tentacles grow longer. I didn't notice that when I was playing the the final game though, like the final product. So I have no idea. But let's try it. Let's try and find these seeds though. Oh, here's one right here. There we go. Oh yeah, you just fly through the freaking air, dude. Like you have like I, I wouldn't say you have air control necessarily because you do lose all of your movement when you are flying out of the bubbles. But still, like, you, you fly so high. It's like the gravity is a lot lower in this version of the game compared to the final product that came out just last week. So, yeah. I mean, I don't really know why exactly this game was in development for eight years. Considering it does seem to be a fairly short experience, because I already beat, like, two-thirds of it within an hour. But, I mean, at the same time, man, I'm not a games developer, okay? Okay. Like, I know almost nothing about game development, because I do not develop games myself, so... I really don't have any room to speak here. I mean, I don't know, maybe these kinds of games still take, like, a very long time to... to create, maybe because they have to go and get get funding for the game. Because, I mean, Yinlet was funded mostly by Indie Fund, as it shows in the intro. I mean, I would imagine that even smaller, more contained indie experiences like this would still take quite a long time to develop, because not only do you need to get funding, like, you need to, if you want to get some, you know, genuinely good music in the game, you have to hire a decent musician and a graphic artist to handle the actual art style of the game, 
And I mean, it's pretty obvious that this game is coming from just a very small indie studio, so they were presumably working with limited resources when they were working on Yinlet, which presumably contributed to... Like, like I would presume contributed to its lengthy development cycle. And there's also a very good chance that, you know, COVID-19 probably complicated matters even further, because then everyone had to start working from home. So maybe that's why it took so long to come out. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not mad or anything. Like, I'm not upset that such a, a tiny little indie game took nearly a decade to finally get released. Like, no. I'm not mad about that at all, but, you know. There's several factors that you need to consider in terms of why it may be taking so long for you know, a video game to be made, because, I mean, games are not easy to make. Like, if there's one thing I've learned from doing Let's Play videos over the past 10 years or so is that games are really hard to make, man. Even tinier, more contained indie experiences like this, they usually take, like, a pretty long time to, to produce and get out to the public. And honestly, I would prefer if developers take all the time that they have to make the game that they want to make instead of rushing it out and everyone ends up getting... What the freak was that? You know, and, and then everyone ends up getting disappointed by it. God, <laughs> that bubble just got, like, launched into space there for a minute. Like, look at this. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. These bubbles are all are, are all physics-based up here as well. Okay, well, I, I should probably just swim away from this then. Um, where is this other seed? I wasn't even paying attention to how many seeds I actually needed to grab in order to complete this level. But whatever, let's, let's just go up here. Oh, there is another seed up this way. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, that's it. That's it then in that case. But yeah, I would rather that game developers take all the time in the world to create their games. Oh, that, that was it actually. The game just closed on its own, so I guess that was the whole prototype. But yeah, I would prefer that game developers take all the time that they possibly can to work on their games and ensure that their game is like a high quality polished product instead of rushing something out that ends up being mediocre in quality. So whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, take as much time as you need to make your games. Doesn't matter if it takes you, like, you know, six months or a year or two years, or in Yinlet's case, eight years. Like, take all the time you need, man. The longer that the game is in development for, then that usually assures that it'll be a much higher quality product when it's finally released. Of course, that's, you know, not always true. In some instances, like, you know, take Duke Nukem Forever, for instance. But the point is, I really like this game a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, Yinlet is a fascinating little game to me, for absolute sure. I definitely dig it. Like, there's there's a lot of things that I very much appreciate about this game, whether it be its art style or, uh, you know, th the actual movement of your little jellyfish friend here. It's basically a 2D platformer that doesn't involve platforming at all. It involves swimming. All the platforms are basically blocks of water that you have to swim through. It's pretty neat, and it does seem to be a rather short game, considering I already made it to 68% on one file within just an hour. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that it's so short, because, you know, it actually respects the player's time and it doesn't feel bloated. Because I mentioned in previous videos that I just don't have time anymore to play, like, 100-hour-long RPGs. At this point in my life, I am looking for much shorter and more contained experiences like this. And, you know, 100-hour RPGs were something that I used to enjoy sinking time into. But as I've gotten older, I've started longing for more faster-paced games, kind of like this. Games that actually respect my time, and I could probably complete within just one play session. I mean, I at least appreciate the fact that they also added bonus levels into the game, so there's, uh, you know, even more challenges awaiting you after you've beaten the main story. So yeah, I don't really have anything more to say except, uh, go play Yinlet. Everything about this game is lovely. From its art style, like its, like its visuals and its, its movement mechanics, the procedurally generated music. Everything about this game is super cute and charming, and it seems like it will only last you a couple of hours, so you could probably beat it within just like one play session, but I would say that those two hours that you'll most likely be spending with the game are worth it. It's a lovely little game that will really put your Twitch reflex skills to the test. Of course, if the game seems a little too intimidating for you, there are some assist options as well. Like, you can make the game slower, or you can uh, lower the gravity, 
enable movement assist, and if you are epileptic, you can also completely disable... Well, I don't know if you can disable them entirely, but you can minimize the effect of the flashing images in this game. And if you want to purchase the game and play it for yourself, the link is in the description. I don't know if it's available on any platforms other than PC. I didn't check before recording this, but I am going to before I upload the video. So yeah, that's Yinlet. Definitely one of the prettiest games of 2021, I can at least say that. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching, and I will indeed see you in the next video I make. Later!